Welcome to Believer's Channel 2. I'm Pastor Russ. Today we're we'll talking about Tisha B'Av, which is in English, the ninth of Av. And uh, before we get into that, I'd like to remind you that there's a thumbs up button at the bottom. When you hit that, it helps us more than you know. And when you become a subscriber, that we need terribly. Uh, we have enough people listening to the program that if they all became a subscriber, uh, doors would be open all over the world for people to hear the Word of God. So please help us in that area. It's free. We'll never charge you a penny. And anybody who comes to Jesus through the ministry, you'll get credit for it in heaven. So be part of that. Now let's get to today's message. Tisha B'Av, Jewish Day of Fasting. Tisha B'Av is an annual fast day in Ju Judaism on which a number of disasters in Jewish history occurred, primarily the destruction of both Solomon's temple uh, by the Babylonians and uh, the second temple. The first temple was destroyed by Babylonians in 586 BC on the 9th of Av. In 70 AD, uh, the second temple was destroyed on the 9th of Av. Defeat at the Battle of Batar on the 9th of Av. Romans plow the temple plateau uh, on the 133 AD on the 9th of Av. Now that's interesting because they not only tore the temple down uh, and, and totally destroyed it. I mean, every, every brick was busted up into little pieces. Uh, they raked it over and then they poured salt all over, all over the area where the temple was, so nothing would ever grow there again. They wanted to be complete, complete destruction. So that's something to keep in mind. They used salt to keep things from growing there, all because of their hate. Uh, and then they turned around and, and they built a, a temple to their god Jupiter which was a, a double disgrace to the Jew. So, terrible things happened to Jews on the 9th of Av. Now bringing it closer to today, England in 1290 AD on the 9th of Av kicked all the Jews out of England. On the, uh, in 1492, Spain uh, put all the Jews in little boats, sent them out to, into the ocean to drown. Um, so they, they expelled the Jews uh, in these little boats and um, basically they, they couldn't just tell them they had to try to kill as many as they could. About, have you ever wondered why it seems like everybody wants to kill Jews? Well, it's Satan. God made Satan, or God made the Jews a promise and he's made the world a promise for that matter that there would always be a remnant, a remnant of Jews, always. So Satan's got it in his head that if he can kill every Jew in the world, then he can turn around and say, God's a liar, and I told you so. And that's what it's all about, believe it or not, proving God to be a liar, and he's not. There will always be a remnant, and there will always be a Jewish nation, uh, 1948. God kept his promise and brought all the Jews back from all over the world to Israel. And they're still going into Israel. Uh, and they've rebuilt the country. Uh, what was once desert is now green, just as God said it would be. So Satan isn't winning this fight at all. Ninth of all, hallelujah. The Germans... Uh, in 1914 up through 1942 tried to extinguish the Jews completely. The book of Hosea 6, 2, 3 says after two days he will receive us on the third day he will restore us that we may live in his presence. In the prophetic Hosea is saying is after 2,000 years, 
he will receive us. See, the end times started at the cross when Jesus was nailed to the cross and put there to die. That's when the end times started. We are living in the end times right now. When it talks about the latter days, it's talking about the tribulation hour. So we are in the end of the end times. We are right up there where the church age is about to expire. And uh, so 2,000 years, and then he's going to receive us on the third day, the third day. Uh, the thousand years after the two thousand years. So there'll be two thousand years of going through this madness we're going through and all of a sudden he takes us out and we'll have one thousand years of millennial reign with the Lord God. Hallelujah. And that's when the rapture hits and we're taken out. Taken out to be with the Lord forever and ever. So you got to be a you got to be a believer to do that. You got to be one who loves the Lord. So, so when He's ready to take a, the people out that love Him, you'll be ready to go. Then, in the book of Lamentations, Jeremiah is talking to the Jews. He's saying, "Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed. In other words, we'll never be extinguished. For His compassions." They never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Ain't that awesome? We have a God that every morning renews his love with us. Every morning he wants to take care of us. This is, this is a God you want to have with you constantly. But you got to accept him to have him. The book of Timothy, 2 Timothy 3.1, brings us up to today. This is what's happening today. He says, this know also that in the last days, the days that we're in, perilous times shall come. In the Greek, it's fierce or violent times. Now, if, if you want to prove that out, just turn on the news. Uh, we're in that day. You turn on the news and you see nothing but fierce and violent times. Uh, we're living in a world that is extremely, extremely like Noah's day. And Jesus kept saying, I will be back when you see this happen. So the two days have expired. And we are now going into the third day. The day in which he comes and takes us home. So be ready. Be ready to go up with Jesus in the rapture. The only way you can be ready is to accept him. Now, repeat after me, and you will have accepted him and got rid of all your sins. Started a new life, looking forward. Say this prayer after me. Say, Father God, I'm a sinner. I've sinned against you. I've lived a terrible life. I want to turn my life around. And I'm asking right now, in Jesus' name, because I believe what he did for me on the cross will save me. It'll wash my sins away. His blood will wash me clean. So, Father God, please forgive me for my sins. I ask this in Yeshua, Jesus' name. Amen. Now I'd like to bless you. May God bless you. May he keep you. And may his face shine upon you. And may his kindness be with you every day. In Jesus' name, amen. Don't forget to become a subscriber. We need you so much. Thank you very much for tuning in today, and God bless.